How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode on the Huntcraft Survival Server. So we're up here on the side of the mountain again and I've got, well, before we actually start doing anything in this episode, i got a little funny story for you guys. So you can see in here, we are obviously up here and I'm obviously, there's obviously a floating island above me. So what happened is that I got all set up, built this whole thing, this whole thing that we're going to be building in this episode. I built it all and, well... I carved out this whole this hole right here, and in all in the last in the full episode that I recorded, and then I ended up at some point I pressed the mute button on my microphone, so there was no commentary, no audio, and it was all very very annoying. So I came back on the server, tore everything down, and we're gonna be building pretty much exactly the same way. But there's a few modifications I'm going to make, because why build it the exact same way. So, this is not going to be the exact same thing as I recorded before, so it should be pretty interesting. So, we're just going to get going right away, and the episode that I recorded before, that I had to, all the footage I had to delete, there was a lot of small cuts, and it was kind of annoying. Personally, for me, I like doing, if I can build this whole thing in one cut, that's, that's my favorite way to do it, but we're just going to get going at it. So... This is, like, this is a really cool view up here. <laughs> Hence why we're building this thing up here. So, oh, not F3, F5, there we go. So let's throw our helmet back on, get those torches out of there. So the first thing we're going to do, just like down here, we want to be able to see the glass really well. So we're going to put this lining back. We're going to put this line, or this border on, so the glass will sit pretty much butted up against that and it looks really good I can say that because well I've seen what it looks like and I know for a fact that it makes it look a lot better just because it gives us that nice edge and all that and a nice border so as I build this I'm just gonna have a chat with you guys um, on the server I just want to make it known because I've gotten a couple questions from a couple of my subscribers and people and I think one from someone some per random person I don't know. Um, but this server, uh, this is not a free for just, just to come on and anybody can come on and all that. Uh, how Eureka and I have set up the server, I invited him on because I, I told him I'm willing to pay for a little bit. And yeah, so that's kind of the deal on the server is if you join the server, you're kind of expected to pay. Pay your part. So I just want to make that well known. I don't know if that was really... If we, if I ever really talked about that, but that's just that's how we run the server. The server, and so I just if you guys if you're interested in joining the server, if you really if you're willing to pay, we're get, trying to get it down to like we're trying to get ten people on the server, and I should be building while I'm talking. Uh, I forgot what I was building. Oh yeah, so we're trying to get ten people on the server, so that makes it a dollar. I think it's I think it goes down as low as a dollar. Uh, one one dollar and one cent or. A dollar and eight cents, that's it. So it goes down, uh, if we can get ten people on the server, it goes down to as low as a dollar and eight cents per person every month. So that's the financial part of the server. That's just purely because I don't see the U.S. Um, so for us Canadians, that's like $5,000, but it sucks. But yeah, sometimes it's, yeah, it's, sometimes you don't get to reap all the benefits of living in Canada. But anyway, yeah, so the only reason we do that is just because, for me, I don't have the money to spend 86 bucks for, well, $86 Canadian every six months for me. That's quite a bit of money, so, and just, it's just, it's not that bad of a thing. Um, any YouTuber, any real, anyone who wants to get into YouTubing, or anyone that's into YouTubing, basically, is going to be willing to pay that. So, that's, that's all we ask. I know... For me, I when I first started YouTube, there's no way I would have just I would have paid some random guy to join their server. Some random guys to just join their server. Now it's I'm very glad that Eureka actually joined the server because that's that made it having him made it possible. So I'm very appreciative of him. Um, actually made one of my dreams come true of having a Minecraft server and be able to do YouTube videos and all that on it. So. That's awesome. I have great respect for him. I'm glad he took the risk with me and the whole server thing, which is really awesome. And yeah, we get to have all this fun together. Uh, we've both been building. He hasn't been able to get on as quite as much as I have. Like I have, I, I kind of snooped in his chest uh, a few days ago and I saw that only had like 
15 diamonds or so. I've got two stacks, so I definitely have been on a little bit more, but it's just great. Uh, so I think I'm going to make a little cut here, and I'm going go to I'm gonna do the floors, but I'll bring you guys back in in a little bit once I've got the floors in, because I don't want to do the windows just yet, because there's a little bit more detail, so I'll see you guys back in a little bit. Alright guys, so I changed my mind a little bit, decided that I would bring you guys in to put the floor in, uh, just because it's pretty simple. And I might cut out putting the windows, actually we'll probably do the windows on camera too, because they're pretty, it's kind of interesting to watch. So I decided that we're going to try and stick with the same design we have down there. And we're going to do a white trim with the diorite. Yeah, diorite. So we're going to do a trim with the diorite. Also, I'm really trying, trying really not hard not to uh, spoil Eureka's build that he's got going. This video will probably go out way... I think I probably talked about this in the last clip, but this video I should go out way after he's finished building that, so I'm hoping. I'm really hoping. Uh, yeah, so I'll, I I really apologize again. I know I've, I know I probably already said this, but I'm not. I can't remember if I did or not, so I'm just covering all of my bases. Uh, so I really hope I'm, I'm not spoiling anything. And if you do watch Eureka's videos, well, don't tell him that I showed you early. <laughs> But, anyway, so that's it for the floor. Uh, we still got the stairway to work out. Um, now, well, I guess there's nothing left to do. Let's just get the glass done. I guess I should stop procrastinating on the glass. It's it's kind of what makes the whole bu the build what it is. So I think the, yeah, the easiest way will just be to put the ring around and then just kind of continuously build up and off of there. So, if... Now I really like this look because it kind of you can kind of walk out onto the glass to look out over the view, and then we did. I didn't want to have it like massive. I didn't want to have like just because there's this taper from here to here, so it kind of slopes up. I didn't want it to stick out too much when we got up to the top, so we kind of hacked off the corners like right there, and just just to make sure it wasn't we didn't get too much glass up top. Because we still get, we get a lot, like we get a decent sized window up top, but nothing that's too ugly, which is more so what I was going for, like I didn't want a massive, except on this end, over here we get a, oh and it snows up here, I didn't even think about that, that's awesome, I love the snow in Minecraft. Rain is just annoying, but snow is, snow in Minecraft is pretty awesome. And eventually, yeah, so we can still walk around up here on this side, as much, which is kind of what I was aiming for. Because I want to be able to, like, walk around full 360 view of the area. Because I just, I don't think that would look cooler. Rather than if we just, it's like that window, you get a good low, low down view of over there. But like this view, you get it of this whole valley over here, the whole town area. I mean, it's not the top of the mountain, but... I think it also looks stupid if we just had a big bubble on top of the mountain too. I like it when it's I kinda like it that it's built into the in into this I don't know, this lump on the top. Personally for me that's kinda I like that a little bit. That, that's a little, uh, tongue twister there. It's a little bit nicer if it's kind of built into the natural terrain rather than just obvious feature. Let's see, we should almost be done. And once we let it up and go down there. Oh man, uh, you can see the rain and snow barrier boundary right there. It's weird that they're so close. This must be a different biome. Oh yeah, we're in extreme hills. That's why I'm finding so many. I've got, actually got like I think I got like ten emeralds so far, in the, and like I remember I can't remember. I think it was last. Well, or the first. Well, yeah, the, the the technically the only season of Canuck Survival. But I think that was when I literally found, like, my first emeralds in Minecraft ever. I don't even actually know, I don't think... Yeah, we must have. Because I did a lot of mining in that world. So we must have found emeralds at some point or another. See, now the hard thing is, though, I'm going to have to make sure that this is well lit up in here so it melts all the snow that'll be landing on the top. Otherwise... Oh, yeah, okay. I remember why this is like this. This goes out here, and then we gotta chop away a little bit. I will show you guys that. That's a chain. That's something that I. Ooh, now I've. Now I'm down here. Oh, well, it's not like I need to. It made it a little bit easier being up there, but nothing too bad. So once we get all the glass in, 
Now, I remember <laughs> I remember when I re- recorded this episode originally, I there was I spent a good 10 minutes talking about the look of this, like the interior, uh, without actually doing anything. I was literally just walking back and forth. So I will try and talk about that now, just to, I don't know, make it so it's not so boring later on. But what I really don't want the look to be is that we have this glass that's just miraculously holding up this this big heavy mountain top up here. So I want to kind of get to that look of supports. The only hard part is there's not... As you can tell, there's not very many good spots for them. So my plan was to have those like that. And then you can see how this we get this nice three entrance. So three wide entrance. And then it kind of shifts over to here. And you can kind of get that. I'm thinking about making this more square, but it would mean I have to build that on there. So I think we might just leave it with that kind of irregular shape. So now we're going to put in, because this, this built, this area, or all this room, my plan for this is this is going to be kind of the server meeting room type thing. So the only hard part here, I also discovered that I've definitely at some point I'm going to come in and hook this all up to redstone with the dispensers and all that, so I'll know if anybody, let me get more people on the server, Somebody, if somebody's up here and they're like, oh, because you get, like in Minecraft you can't help but run across pressure pl- pressure plates. It's just especially if they look like they're being used for tabletops. So when they when they uh, run across the pressure plates and then realize that there's fireworks going off everywhere, then they'll just, then they'll just keep running across. I'm sure. And get the snow out of here. Yeah, it's gonna be like we're in a snow, massive snow globe soon. So yeah, this is it. And then what else? What we're also going to do? I've got some birch fences here. Uh, not always going to be meetings and stuff going on, so we need we want to have some time to just relax as a server community. So maybe some people want to come up here and just hang out. And yeah, we've well, got some benches, got some bench seats, I guess. Uh, now the only problem is lighting, um, since we don't really we need to make another big uh, nether expedition and go get a bunch of glowstone because we're kind of out. So, we'll do that at some point, but for now we'll just use some torches, because it's not that big a deal. So we're also going to be, actually, I'm going to have to make a cut soon, and check the time. We may we may be able to get to the roof this episode, but I'm not too sure. Uh, but anyway, let's do this last uh, kind of interior. And again, I'm really bad at decorating in, in the, or er, doing interiors. So the best thing I could come up with to kind of break up the boring image in here or like the monotony was a little bar so and I mean this is this is definitely this is, we we don't serve miners here no definitely not we are very by the books in here but what we're gonna do we're gonna get like brewing stands and maybe put some shelves looking stuff in the back and just that kind of stuff I don't know make it look like something else because that kind of that area doesn't really look that good anyway, so we might even bring this for I don't know. We'll probably that'll probably stay there. Doesn't matter if you can see a little bit of diorite. Actually, no, that really I don't like the look of that at all. So we'll switch it out quick. Oh, hot bar. There we go. There we go. Okay, yeah, that looks much better. And then we just yeah, then we got diorite back here in a nice pattern. And yeah, so we'll get some brewing stands whenever we get to the Nether and manage to kill some blazes, which is pretty hard. Yeah, this is the server meeting room. Now I haven't done. I haven't. This isn't official. This is just kind of me deciding this is right, kind of as I was recording before. So it's not official or anything, but I think it'd be kind of cool if we can come and sit up here and be like, "All right, we can see all of the community now. Where it should be blow up, do all the, the evil millionaire things, even though we've, we're the ones that built everything." So let's take a trip down. Uh, arm ourselves with some snowballs. <laughs> we are definitely heavily armed now. I know it's gonna be raining and we're not gonna get a good view, but I just want—I want to see that. I want to show you guys this at night because it's gonna look pretty cool if I know what I'm talking about. So not so much from here because it's here you're gonna get—you're getting a lot of the glass texture and all that. So I mean, it still doesn't look bad, which is kind of a good thing. What I would love to see and what I definitely—what I'm really waiting for is a faithful texture pack for 1.9. So like like uh, what I did last, well the texture pack I was all, I've always used before has always been had light or 
less tinted glass, and oh, okay, that's exactly the look I was looking going for. That's so cool. And we got tons of spiders coming in, so we're gonna try and get out of the way. But yeah, that's that's exactly the look I was going for. We might do something over on this side of the mountain too. So I'll make another cut here, and I'll go check our time. And if we have time to do the roof, then we'll figure something out. But we're definitely we'll do the stairs and all the, the stairway up in a different episode. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. All right, guys. So I've got some stuff together, and we figured <laughs> I realized we have plenty of time left in this episode. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna go do the roof, and then that'll be it. Sadly. So I guess I'll take my time. So you can see in my hotbar, probably got the idea. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys, if you're new to the channel and all that, I don't know if you've seen the logo for the server, but it is a red H and a green C in kind of a, um, sta well, in a diagonal pattern. It's nothing to, I'm not a creative person, so that's the temporary logo. But what the plan is, and I was realizing I should probably have a crafting table up here somewhere, whether it's behind the bar or not uh where is it there it is uh so what we're gonna do is uh we'll probably need at least 16 that and then two in there and da -da -da -da. i guess i could have done them all at once all right so that's the plan anyway so a red h we're gonna start the h here now I am bad with this part of. Oop! I think I went too. I keep hearing the pressure plates and thinking it's a bad thing. Um. Okay. Now I know this is kind of stupid having this in the roof, but it's really the only place we have room for it. Oh boy. Okay. Working upside down. This is quite annoying. So three, and then out, 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 and out. See how that looks. <laughs> All right, so H. Mm, I'm almost thinking we, we move this so they're literally touching, or I think we need to make the H bigger. Where we can't. Oh yeah, maybe if we don't make it all perfect size. A, oh yeah, no, that looks. Ooh, okay. Now, actually, I like that because you can you come up the stairs and you're looking up and you're like, oh yeah, H, Huntcraft, cool. So yeah, I think we'll leave it like that. So now let's get rid of the rest. Now this is again going to be unoriginal as usual, and we're just going to use uh, dark oak. I'm gonna, I really am gonna start watching like Kralis's videos and more. So trying to get out because I really want to get good at doing interiors. Because well, I mean that's everything you're gonna build is gonna have some kind of interior. I'm, I in my opinion, I'm okay with the exteriors, but they don't always look great so I mean leave a comment down below what you guys think um, if you if you think I do decent interiors let me know because that's the one thing I'm kind of self-conscious about in Minecraft is like I want the inside of my build if I'm gonna put all this work into well mainly something like this I'm gonna put work into digging out the mountain I want the inside to look good since nobody's ever gonna no one's gonna see the outside really well for something like this they will and I mean you can't really the outside for this you you you're kind of limited to a kind of a glass dome. I mean, sure, there's I could break it up with some like different colored glass or something, which maybe we'll do in the future when we have a little bit more resources and stuff. But honestly, I think that looks really good. So you yeah, you come you come up the stairs and you're like, oh, I wonder what that means. Oh, and it looks cool because it looks like the H is kind of slanted just because we have it. We have that one block difference. So yeah, so you come up the stairs, you get that nice big H C in there. And then our meeting, we saw take a seat at our meeting table at our specific spots. And then I'm, I stand at the head of the table, and let's see. So today, I, br I bring you here because, well, diamond sword. Boom, 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 oh, what? Why's it not working? Oh, right, you can't block with swords anymore. Too bad. You can juggle it, though. Wait. Okay, juggling act. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Yay. Oh, wait, I guess. Oop, there we go. Alright, there we go. Yeah, that's, that's much better. I can juggle swords, really. So, I guess this will do it for this episode. So, yeah, next time, uh, we'll start doing some stuff down here. Uh, so, we've got... I already told you guys I've got plans for this area back here, which that's probably what we'll be doing next episode. Uh, or we might just do this 
the outer edge of this room and put in the walls and all that and then start on the room that we got there uh, a little bit later on but we'll definitely be doing this staircase next because I definitely I want to let Eureka know about this kind of this uh, I don't know the club the Huntcraft club I guess is what we can call it now oh yeah we need a few box up here hmm. and we're gonna need a wall or a chest or something to keep all the music just in but yeah like I was saying before I got distracted with the other ideas uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will see you in the next one. This is a great way to leave this this episode, if you don't, if I do say so myself. <laughs>